Wednesday evening, everyone. We're back with a fresh edition of Weather for Weather Geeks in the wake of our overnight and morning system that kind of behaved itself pretty well. The forecast worked out pretty well in most of our area, but uh, yeah, we've got uh, more wintry intrigue to come over the next couple of days. Maybe some nuisance amounts of snow and some slick travel in some spots. But hey, we can dream, right? After a crummy day today, let's think back to 19... 19- 50, long time ago, uh, 83 years ago on, or se- 73 years, boy, let's not get ahead of ourselves, 73 years ago on today's date, 71 degrees, the all-time January temperature record for our area. Now, we came close to tying this a few years ago, back in January of 2020, it got to 70, I think it was on January the 11th, something like that, um, we got to 70 that day, but 71 is the all-time January record set on this date in 1950. Also an important anniversary today into tomorrow, it's the anniversary, of course, of the blizzard of 78, which brought much more snow to Michigan, northern Indiana, and northwest Ohio than it did to eastern Ohio and western PA, but the impacts were still huge, of course, around here on this date 45 years ago with a uh, an Ohio pressure record set in, uh, in Cleveland and the Youngstown pressure record uh, was set uh, with this storm 28.39 inches of mercury or 961 millibars. That pressure is comparable to a Category 3 hurricane. Now, the winds were not as strong with the blizzard of 78 as a Category 3 hurricane because, of course, it's land and not ocean. We've got a lot more friction slowing the wind down a little bit, but still, it was really windy and uh, created some enormous drifts and lots of travel headaches in late January of 1978. Nothing blizzard-like about our weather today, but uh, the snow came in this morning. It did its thing. This is one of the more heavily traveled intersections in our area, one of the more well-treated intersections, so road conditions were never real bad along 224 Market Street in Boardman, even though at times it did get a little bit slick this morning. Certainly, though, the the more secondary roads, the side streets, uh, and anything untreated uh, was a little bit of a challenge for the first half of the day today. The uh, numbers at the airport, the official number today, 2.7 inches worth of snow at the airport in Vienna, bringing us to 7.5 for the month. That's still 8.4 below the average. And two or three inches was pretty common throughout our area. Our forecast was for two to four, so this verified pretty well. Didn't really see anyone getting pretty close to four. Um, Boardman, Wellsville, Canfield, two and a half was pretty common there. About three in Hermitage, two and a half Sharon. And again, the number at the airport was 2.7. But... Snow eating rain pushed in as expected this afternoon. It's been raining for several hours. As of this recording, the rain is tapering off, but there'll be a couple of raindrops trying to linger for a little while this evening before snowflakes take over. Now, we do have a fairly potent weather maker getting set to track our way in about 24 hours. Our major system is getting the boot out of here, but we have an upper level disturbance that's uh, moving through the upper Midwest this evening. And, boy, this is slow to load up, but if if this water vapor imagery were to load a little bit faster, you'd be able to see pretty clearly uh, a trough of low pressure. Here we go. We're going to start animating now. Uh, Moving through the upper Midwest, this guy right here. This is what's going to pivot in later tomorrow and bring us a pretty good serving of scattered snow showers towards the end of the day on Thursday. In the meantime, there'll be some flurries overnight as the air cools off and some flurries around tomorrow morning, but I'm not expecting very many consequences on the roads. I think our morning drive will be just fine in most spots on Thursday. But as we head towards evening and into uh, the overnight hours, this trough of low pressure pivots through. That's the dash black line on the weather map here. And there's going to be some snow showers that have a little lake enhancement with them. There could even be a Lake Michigan connection coming all the way across Ohio and into West Virginia. That's going to be a possibility. Any of these could be pretty, pretty beefy and drop a decent amount of snow, maybe an inch or two in a fairly short amount of time, along with quick reductions in visibility. But it's going to be real scattered and unpredictable in nature, so some of us will get away without too many snowflakes late tomorrow, but some of us could have a pretty decent snow shower or even snow squall. Uh, It'll stay pretty squally into the night, then we'll kind of be in between systems for a lot of the day Friday. By Friday evening, this Next system is a weaker system, but it might produce a period of light snow or flurries Friday evening. Accumulations with that would be probably an inch or less, I suspect. And then we'll kind of be in between systems again on Saturday before another fast-moving system brings us a chance of precipitation Sunday that may be mostly rain showers as we wrap up the weekend. Now, again, this is going to be kind of scattered in nature. It's not going to be like this morning where we just had a shield of snow that pushed through. This is going to be those, those strands of snow showers and snow squalls later tomorrow. So this will be mostly focused around and after sunset on Thursday evening into the overnight. 
And while this is just one run of one model and it's not going to be exactly right, it does show, you know, elevated chances of seeing some additional accumulations in parts of our viewing area. You might even see a couple of inches in some spots out of this. Here's a look at uh, some odds. These numbers may be a little bit conservative. Uh, uh, we'll take a look at the evening model information and see what we can do with this, but I think there's a decent chance that in any given location in our TV viewing area, you got a pretty good chance of seeing about an inch worth of fresh snow tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. And uh, decent odds of maybe even a couple of inches. So I'm a little bit concerned about a, 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 a slick travel situation for a lot of Thursday night, maybe first thing Friday morning. Might have some two hour delays uh, for the schools Friday morning. Not my area of expertise, but this is the kind of setup that would lend itself more to two hour delays rather than a full cancellation like we had this morning where the weather was actually getting progressively worse during the morning. This is gonna be a situation where the weather will be at its worst overnight and then we'll be uh, clearing things out first thing Friday morning. So again, we'll have more on that as the evening progresses and uh, on 21 News tonight at 11. Uh, I talked about this some last evening, but pretty unremarkable temperature pattern for the rest of January. But as we get into that first week of February, pretty good shot of cold air is coming at the end of the next week. Next Friday, maybe the worst of it, we might have a hard time getting above 20, 21 next Friday with overnight temperatures perhaps down in the single digits. Probably not as cold as it was around Christmas time, but this will be some of the coldest weather we've had since that cold outbreak at Christmas. Because, of course, January has, on balance, been a pretty mild month even though we've had a little bit of a, a pattern change of late with more chances for cold and wintry weather. Hasn't been too far below the average temperature-wise of late, and that shot of cold during the, that first week of February could, could be a, a pretty biting shot of cold air, and with that kind of a pattern, yes, there's probably going to be some chances for some uh, snow as well, but I still think that it is going to turn milder, maybe by a fair amount, as we get into the second week of February. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks tonight. Let's do it again tomorrow, same time, same place on Thursday.